And let me show you around. Pretty cool camp spot. Um, probably, I don't know. I can't decide. It keeps going around in circles. 50% chance of rain? Couldn't ask for a better camp spot though. Except for, uh, there's a whole bunch of ants now that weren't there when I set up. Oh well. I took a hike over to, that's a uh, Salvation Knoll. Right there. Pretty awesome. Here it comes. It's not hot anymore. Wizard of Oz. Yeah. Good morning, YouTube. So I decided last night that I'm going to turn this into <laughs> part two is going to be probably split up into three parts because it's 45 minutes long and I really don't want to cut any more than I did out of it. So there you have it. I think that's the best plan because really there was a lot of cool stuff on it. Yeah, that one's toast. Um anyways, beautiful morning. Last night though. Huh, it got so windy that the tent stayed up good. That was not a problem. But the uh, the rain cover on my tank bag that blew off. I mean, it's it's tethered, so it couldn't go anywhere. But I had a feeling, I had a feeling it was going to get with it last night when I went to hunker down in the tent. And uh, boy, was I right! Holy cow, what a storm! Whew. She can't run from it all the time. Sometimes you got to just sit there and take it. That's what that's what I did. But oh man, there's so much freaking dirt. Just uh, dust blew in from the ground into the tent. It's just plain gritty in there right now. It's I'm gritty. I'm gonna get do some laundry today which that's another little trick just get you some of these nice uh they're kind of thin shorts they go underneath the riding gear nicely and uh i just take a little tub with a couple drops of dawn detergent run my uh, jersey through there run the shorts through there run your socks through there rinse them out a couple times and uh Clean clothes. Just rotate them every couple days. Get you a shower once in a while. You don't smell like an animal. And uh, didn't get eaten by a bear. I did let that. I hate when I see that. I went for a hike after I set up camp. And I did find a pile of bear scat half a mile from here. Uh huh? And that's uh, brings me to my next thing. I always keep my food and trash and stuff in a dry bag. Um, as you can see, there's no trees here tall enough to hang anything from, so it's just useless. So I went about a hundred yards down the road and 
it's in a red bag, and I piled some rocks on it. And I'm a little senile, and I was just hoping that I wouldn't forget that I had my food in there. It's kind of buggy here. I was just hoping, because <laughs> I'll do that. I'm, I'm very, uh, I get sidetracked very easily, so I could totally ride off without my food. So I didn't sleep that great. So I let that get into my head. It's kind of amateurish, but whatever. I didn't really feel like losing my food. Other than that, I slept pretty darn good. Not gonna lie. Spoon, and my coffee. I like this is pretty decent stuff. Um, I should have put it in a plastic bag because the, the jar weighs. It's kind of heavy. Just like backpacking, every pound counts. I am not in any hurry this morning, so usually when I make my coffee. I'll drink it while I'm breaking down camp. But it's beautiful. It is absolutely gorgeous out today. Um, I'll go ahead and show you a little look around. What it looks like this morning. There's still monsoon showers all the way around me. It's probably going to be a, a rainy day. So I'm sure I'd probably not dilly dally too much breaking down camp if I want my tent stuff to be dry. But uh, I'll try to enjoy my coffee this morning. Oh, that was a pretty good camp spot. I didn't see a single soul. Very desolate. 